This video will guide you through using Blackboard Ally. To check the course report, click on the Accessibility Report link in the left-hand menu of your module. The report will display the overall accessibility score of your module, an outline of the file types on the module, and a summary of issues categorised by easy to fix and lowest scoring. From the main report page, identify the content with easiest issues to fix and click start. You'll be presented with a list of issues. Clicking on an item will present more details. Some issues will be fixable directly within Ally. Others may require you to download the original file, make corrections and re-upload. Issues such as image alt text within Blackboard content items can be fixed directly from the report. Type a suitable description in the Add Image Description box and click Add. For guidance on how to write effective alt text, click on the How to Write a Good Description button. For issues within documents or presentation files, use the How To button and then click Download the original document. Ally provides detailed information on correcting issues within particular versions of software. We recommend the Microsoft Accessibility Checker to highlight issues in documents and presentations. You can upload the corrected file directly into the upload box in the Ally report, and this will replace the original file in Blackboard. Once the easy fixes are corrected, you may wish to look at the lowest scoring content. You can begin this from the main Ally report page by clicking on Start under the Fix Low Scoring Content section. Lowest scoring issues tend to be untagged PDFs and scanned PDFs that are not OCR'd. Both issues require you to amend the original document, convert to PDF and re-upload the corrected version. It's likely that the original non-PDF version is not stored on Blackboard. As a result, Ally cannot find the original document for you. You may need to search your original document or consult with the document author if it's not yourself. There are occasions where correcting issues flagged by Ally is either not possible or not appropriate. In these cases, it's worth considering whether an alternative format could be offered to students. The important question to address is, can the important information be made available to students in an alternative format? It may be that the file in question is already an alternative form of the information. For example, a handwritten document produced as part of a video guide. In this case, the information is available to students in more than one format and so can be considered accessible. We're not expecting modules to reach 100% accessibility. There are many examples where individual files may present a low accessibility score, but may be the only possible outcome or may have alternatives provided. We hope that staff will address the easily fixed issues and that any low scoring files are carefully reviewed.